Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Attention athletic directors, high school coaches, youth recreation directors. Too busy on the field to worry about your insurance? Put DNH Alternative Risk Solutions into the game and let us give you peace of mind for all your insurance needs. DNH will provide you with A-rated insurance for your leagues, teams, sports clinics, summer camps, and rec programs. DNH will give you a one-page quote, saving you time. Let DNH provide you with a no-obligation quote today. DNH Alternative Risk Solutions, local insurance for your local athletic program needs. Call 940-1851 or visit risksolutions.com. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Welcome to tonight's issue of Vernon Vibes. It's good to be with you. Much has occurred since the last time we were together. Uh, the uh, calendar of council meetings is such that we actually have had almost three weeks uh, since the last council meeting. Uh, so I'd like to get right down to the business, if I may, this evening. As I like to do, um, I like to make all aware of some of the things going on in Vernon and what I like to refer to as the community calendar. So I'd like to start by recognizing the Highland Lakes Fire Company. This coming Saturday evening, the Highland Lakes Fire Co Department will be celebrating its 50th anniversary. And that celebration is a, in recognition of all of the men and women who have given of themselves, volunteered their time, and put their lives in some cases in jeopardy to protect uh, the people in Vernon Township. 50 years as a fire department is no small um, achievement. And so as the mayor of this community, I'd like to congratulate the Highland Lakes Fire Department. I would like to tell them that I, along with the people in Vernon Township, are very, very thankful for what you gentlemen and ladies do, as well as the rest of the emergency services, the volunteer emergency services in Vernon, so very important to the well-being of this community. But this Saturday evening, we will be celebrating the 50th anniversary. Congratulations, gentlemen. Um, I know that it will be a very fun time, and frankly, you all deserve it. I'd like to tell you about a free program that is uh, available. It's called Take Control of Your Health, and uh, it is held at the Vernon Senior Center here at 21 Church Street. It, in fact, will begin on Friday, May 24th, and, in fact, will go for uh, every Friday until June 28th from 9 in the morning until 11.30 a.m. This program, Take Control of Your Health, is uh, designed to help our seniors who may be frustrated with weight control or dietary concerns, uh, who may have long-term conditions that limit their mo mobility, who may be overwhelmed with caring for a loved one with a long-term condition, or who may just not be enjoying their life to the fullest. So I'd like to encourage you to take part in this six-week workshop. The series, as I said, is here at the v Vernon Senior Center, 21 Church Street in Vernon. It's free. And if you need additional information on Take Control of Your Health, which, by the way, is sponsored by the Sussex County Department of Human Services, you can contact them at 973-579-0555, extension 1285. It's a great program. I would encourage all to take advantage of it. Those of you who are steady viewers of Vernon Vibes know that I have been very involved and am definitely a large supporter of the North Jersey Veterans Cemetery. And on May 23rd, that's Thursday, May 23rd, the, to benefit the Northern New Jersey Veterans Memorial Cemetery, there will be a spring fashion show. It will be held at the Sussex County Technical School. The evening event will be held at the McNeese Auditorium, which is at 105 North Church Road in Sparta, New Jersey. Admission is $15 per person. And so I'd like to invoy, uh, invite everyone 
to, uh, to join us at the Spring Evening Fashion Show. It begins at 6 o'clock with gourmet food tasting from 6 until 7.30, and then at 7.45, the fashion show will begin. This group of, of people, this organization of people, have been moving forward, and many of you who follow the news know that recently the Sparta uh, Land Use Board approved the application of the Northern New Jersey Veterans Memorial Cemetery, and so another very important hurdle has been uh, overcome or met. Uh, the issue of fundraising is always critical. So come on out, support this worthy cause, and have a good evening on May 23rd at McNeese Auditorium at the Sussex Vote Tech School. Another important date in coming up is June 6th, and that is at 1.30 in the afternoon. This particular announcement applies to seniors in our community. The Sussex County Department of Human Services, the Division of Senior Services, has an annual public hearing, and this year the needs of Sussex County seniors are the topic of that hearing. It will be held June 6th, and it will be held at 1.30 in the Sparta Senior Center at 39 Trapasso Drive in Sparta. If you have something that you'd like the seniors, uh, Sussex County Department of Human Services, Division of Senior Services to hear about, that's the time and the place. If you need a ride, you can arrange for a ride to the hearing, and you can do that by calling Skylands Ride at 973-579-579. 0480, no later than 11 a.m. on May 31st. So if you'd like to participate in that public hearing and transportation is a problem, I would encourage you to call 973-579-0480 by 11 o'clock on May 31st. Transportation will be arranged for you and your voice will be heard. And while I'm on public hearings, there's a public hearing to be held on Tuesday, June the 11th, and this one specifically deals with the Sussex County Skylands Ride, which I just made reference to. On Tuesday, June 11th, at 12 p.m. noon, the Sussex, at the Sussex County Administrative Center in the Freeholders Meeting Room, there will be a public hearing, okay, which will deal with the Sussex County Skylands Ride and any comments, concerns, or suggestions that you might want to make about that particular service that's provided by our county, that's your opportunity to be heard. So I would encourage you, if you're interested, to, uh, to attend. And if you have any questions, you can reach out at 973-383-3600, extension 5130. That's the public hearing, the annual public hearing, dealing with the Skylands Ride Program in Sussex County. Again, funded by our Sussex County Freeholders. The last event that I'd like to call to your attention is called Sussex County Vets for Vets. And this program is in conjunction with the Pocono Mountain Corvette Club. It will be held on Friday, June 14th at five, from 5 p.m. till 8 p.m. at the Chatterbox Restaurant, which is in Frankfort Township. That's at 1 State Route 15 in Augusta, New Jersey. There will be exhibits and there will be all kinds of information for our seniors and for our veterans. So please, it's free. Um, on June 14th, go on out to the Chatterbox, have a great time, enjoy the, the uh, car show, and um, educate yourself. There'll be informational exhibits by the county agencies and service agencies, as well as entertainment and refreshments available to you. If you have any questions about this program, you can gain more information at 973-579-0555, extension 1221. That's June 14th from 5 until 8 p.m. at the Chatterbox in Frankfort Township. Wow. You can tell that the weather's getting nice, and Sussex County and Vernon are getting active. Take advantage of some of these programs. They go on all the time, and I often hear people saying that, you know, what is there to do in Sussex County? There's plenty to do. So I would encourage you to, in fact, participate. I'll be right back. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine. 
with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Attention athletic directors, high school coaches, youth recreation directors. Too busy on the field to worry about your insurance? Put DNH Alternative Risk Solutions into the game and let us give you peace of mind for all your insurance needs. DNH will provide you with A-rated insurance for your leagues, teams, sports clinics, summer camps, and rec programs. DNH will give you a one-page quote, saving you time. Let DNH provide you with a no-obligation quote today. DNH Alternative Risk Solutions, local insurance for your local athletic program needs. Call 940-1851 or visit RiskSolutions.com. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Welcome back. I'd like to start this segment with recognizing a few uh, people in Vernon Township who deserve to be recognized publicly. As you know, in previous editions, I called to your attention the uh, 2013 Rabies Clinic, which was held on April 27th at the DPW building in Vernon. And the only way that that program can be successful is through volunteerism. And so I'd like to take a moment to recognize the people who gave of their time, free, to the people of Vernon to see to it that our pets stayed safe. And so bear with me for a moment as I'd like to read into the record the names of the people who made this possible. Warren Burgess, former animal control officer who has been involved in um, the protection and care of our animals in Vernon Township for well over 50 years, leads the list. Marlene Ford, Christine Brands Davies, Tammy Cutler, Kathy Cunningham, Debbie Vandermoss, Rick Unhuck, Jack Stout, Kerry Scott, Joanne Henneke, Valerie Palumbo, Gino Sias, Dr. Tim Bingaman and his wife Jean, and present Vernon Township Animal Control Officers Tom Malero, Benita Johnson, Jason Vidal, Jim Epperly, and Juan Cordona. All of those people gave of their time free of charge to inoculate 515 cats and dogs from 10 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon on the 27th of April. Job well done. A heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you from this office and the people of Vernon Township. Nice job. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. It also gives me great pleasure to inform you of a very, very um, prestigious award that was recently presented to Tom Panan, the director of our building department. Tom Panan has worked in Vernon Township for 18 years, seeing to it that the buildings that are constructed in this town, along with his staff, are constructed in a safe manner, which is to the benefit of all of us. Tom was selected this month as Building Inspector of the Year by the New Jersey Safety Council, the first time ever that a building inspector in Vernon Township has been recognized by his peers as well as the professionals in the building trades as the best building inspector in 2013. Tom, congratulations. I am absolutely proud of the job that you do and you bring distinction and honor to Vernon Township as you join a long list of firsts that are occurring in our town. Any of you who have had any dealings with Tom Panan know 
that he's always available to answer your questions and to give guidance. And if you follow it, the process is very, very easy to complete. So again, congratulations, Tom. And as Mr. Penan, by the way, uh, commented at our town council meeting last evening when we recognized him, his entire staff and his team are what makes it all work. And that's leadership. Tom provides it. Thanks again, Tom, for a job well done. I'll be back in just a minute. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Welcome back. Along with the news that I like to report to you, I want to make you aware that, uh, in fact, the uh, Environmental Commission, under the leadership of Mrs. Beverly Buds, has, in fact, completed the uh, no net loss grant application that I've spoken to you about before for Vernon Township, having to do with the reforestation of our community um, necessitated by the uh, construction of the Tennessee gas pipeline. This application has been completed and submitted, and we anticipate that as we move forward in the year, you will see us planting trees on municipal property, and uh, the amount of work that went into this grant application was significant. And so I just wanted to let you know, I know I've mentioned it before, the application is complete, we're awaiting final determination. We have every reason to believe that in fact, we will succeed with this application. Just to shift gears for a couple moments, there have been two legal issues that Vernon Township has been involved in in the not too distant past that have gotten a considerable amount of newspaper uh, space. And so I would like to take just a moment here to uh, report to you what the final results have been. Let's first talk about Parrott versus Vernon. Jeff Parrott is the county clerk who saw fit to sue Vernon to pay the costs of changing the ballot. And if you've read the newspaper, you know that uh, the determination that was made by the judge was that Vernon has to pay the bill. And we certainly will do that. We will comply. But I think it's very important for the people to understand all of the facts as they relate to this situation. And so I have with me the judge's direct order. And obviously, I'm not going to read the whole thing. But I do want to read a very uh, important part of what the judge had to say. You may recall that my position in this issue was that the clerk always had the right to do what he did. The issue was whether or not he had the right to charge Vernon for it, since we are the largest community and, cre and, and thereby generate the largest part of his budget. I and our uh, attorneys felt that it was a service that should have been provided. However, I want to read this to you if I may. There does not appear to be any separate statutory provision, I'm quoting from the judge's order, setting forth the county clerk's responsibility in the instant situation, i.e., where the county clerk discovers or is informed of a township's ballot error, but no citizen has presented a complaint in accordance with NJSA 19-14-20. Nonetheless, the court concludes that the Sussex County Clerk's actions were appropriate. The judge goes on to say, Accordingly, as Vernon Township was responsible for the error, the court concludes that the defendant should bear the cost of the correction. We will do that. But I'm reading this to you so that you understand the judge, in fact, made case law as a result of this. They have the right to do it. Okay, we'll pay it. We'll follow the judge's order. I want you to remember that Mr. Parrott saw fit to lighten your pockets by $5,000 plus um, uh, because the truth of the matter is, 
he could have just as easily made the change for a lot less money. The second issue has to do with the Oprah case of Vernon versus Sally Rinker et al. We have waited actually over a month for the judge's written order. We have now received it. And as I read the newspaper articles and listened to the things that were said and have read the letters to the editor, I think it's important that we set the record straight. The judge contended or found that in fact the error was a human, innocent human error on the part of our clerk. That's fine. He then went on to direct the following. The defendant, Curious George, has had adequate notice of this proceeding consistent with due process of law, has failed to respond or appear, default is entered and final judgment is entered upon the proof submitted. Further, the defendant recipients of said confidential information are ordered to not disseminate said information and to delete same from their computers. And fourth, within 10 days of this order, the date of this order, each defendant shall file a certification in the form annexed to this document attesting to the deletion of said information from their respective computers and further attesting that same has not been disseminated to any third party. The judge went on to say that each of them may maintain one electronic copy with their attorneys and that the township has 60 days in which to create a formal plan of action to prevent and to respond to any accidental dissemination of information in the future. That is completed. That is done and will be submitted to the court in writing within the 60-day time frame as required. He actually goes on to say that the legal fees in defending the um, um, order to show cause were awarded to the defendants represented by Richard Gutman in an amount to be determined upon certification to be submitted within 30 days of the date of this order and that the actual court costs of defendant Jesse Woloski, who appeared pro se, also uh, upon certification as to the same will be submitted to the court and we shall pay it. That is not unusual in Oprah lawsuits. The Oprah laws absolutely tend to, to slant toward the public as opposed to the government agencies. But what's important is this. As you well know, Vernon Township and the New Jersey Herald reached a settlement prior to this hearing date. That settlement was exactly the same as this order. And our attorney, at the direction of the town council, was in negotiations with the attorney for the defendants who flat out decided they weren't going to do it. In essence, there didn't have to be any legal fees and there didn't have to be a hearing had in fact the defendants agreed to the same kind of settlement that the New Jersey Herald agreed to. So when you read all of these letters to the editor and you look at the quote unquote cost, I'm going to say three things. One, our legal costs were virtually nothing. Obviously the newspaper and, and individuals will be operating them. That's fine. It's public record. Two, we still don't have the certifications from any of the defendants as to what they did with that information. And three, anyone who thinks that protecting our employees through the, through the provision of LifeLock is an overkill or a, an expense that the town should not have to bear, I would simply say to you, may you never be involved in an identity theft because it's not pleasant. Thirdly, I'm glad we have LifeLock. I've already had someone try to tamper with my address via the computer. Do I know for sure it's from this issue? No, but I know that it's happened. And so I therefore would say to you, the issue now is closed except for Mr. Gutman's legal fees, and I'm sure that that will come before the court and we will then address it at that point in time. 
It's important to note that Vernon Township only entered into this order to show cause to obtain the things that I just read to you from the judge's order, that he demand <clears throat> that they not be disseminated, that they be eradicated, and that a certification be given that it was done. I've had people say to me, you could have just waited for the people to do that. No one was going to disseminate it. Let me remind you that the former mayor was involved in a situation when she was the mayor where she disseminated confidential emails to individuals outside of this government. It was the subject of a very large article in the New Jersey Herald and therefore since I believe that past behavior predicts future behavior, we were left with no choice but to do what was necessary to protect the security and the identity of our 119 employees. I will never back away from that and I will never make an excuse for it. It's my responsibility as your mayor and their leader. I'll be back in a minute. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort it's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township, United Water, involved in the communities they serve. Welcome back. In this last segment, I would like to remind each and every one of you that we are presently rapidly approaching the primary election date of June 4th here in Sussex County. And I would like to take this opportunity to encourage each and every one of you to in fact exercise your civic responsibility and go to the polls and vote on June 4th for the candidate of your choice. There are some very important decisions that need to be made as to who are going to represent the various parties in the general election and in some cases, excuse me, in some cases um, the primary election will in fact determine who will serve in that capacity. One of those offices is the surrogate's office. There is a primary race there between Alicia Ferrante a local attorney, and the sitting uh, surrogate, Gary Chisano, former assemblyman and, and freeholder and Frankfurt mayor um, and school board member. Uh, that's a very important race because whatever is determined in the primary, that individual will serve as our surrogate. Um, so I want to, in fact, encourage each and every one of you to go out and vote, to vote for the uh, candidate of your choice, it's important that we have a big turnout. And I'd like to close by saying I have been honored by the election to the New Jersey Council of Mayors Board of Directors. It is a um, responsibility that I look forward to and I am honored to be the very first mayor in Vernon Township ever to be elected to the board of this prestigious statewide organization. I will do my best to represent our interest and the interest of Sussex County as we meet to deal with the issues that are germane to the 564 mayors in New Jersey. I thank you for being with us this evening. I look forward to you at our next edition. Discover the treasure that's in your own backyard at Crystal Springs Resort. It's the perfect way to escape your daily routine with luxury spas, award-winning golf, fabulous dining, mineral sports club, and so much more. Even treat yourself to an overnight stay for that special occasion. Great recreation and world-class amenities, it's all right here in beautiful Sussex County at Crystal Springs Resort. Vernon Vibes is brought to you in part by United Water, the official water company of Vernon Township. United Water, involved in the communities they serve.